Over the last decade, the overall numbers of police in Scotland have increased, yet crime has not fallen and violent crime is on the increase. Police officers are highly trained and highly skilled and it's vital that their focus is on building safer and stronger communities. What matters to the public is the ability of the police to respond to local problems, whether it's a crime, an accident or a landslide. And the key to the police service's ability to respond is not its overall size but its capacity. The right people with the right skills in the right place at the right time. We've listened to the people of Scotland and that's why this government is committed to building the capacity of the police service in Scotland to respond, not just the numbers. At the heart of our approach is the determination to help more individual police officers become part of the fabric of the communities they serve, building local knowledge and forging strong relationships with families and businesses in their local area. We've made a clear commitment to deliver a more visible policing presence on Scotland streets, an additional 1,000 officers available in our communities. And we shall do that through increased recruitment, improved retention of skilled and experienced officers, and redeployment of officers to strengthen operational policing in our communities. I can announce today that the Scottish Government will invest £54 million to support additional recruitment, build capacity, and provide support for retention and redeployment initiatives. That's on top of the increases in police funding that will form part of Wednesday's budget announcement. As a first step, this will enable the recruitment of an additional 500 officers, with at least 150 more officers recruited in this financial year. Almost 2,300 officers will reach 30 years service and be eligible to retire over the lifetime of Parliament. This represents a huge pool of knowledge, experience and expertise that cannot be immediately replicated in even the best training college. I am launching a review to ensure that we can retain our best officers rather than see them leave when they still have so much to offer. I shall also be setting Scotland's police forces an annual efficiency target. The significant resources this will free up will be available to forces to reinvest in delivering improved operational policing better ways of working and exploiting the opportunities of new technology. So in return for this substantial additional investment, we expect police forces to redouble their efforts to tackle bureaucracy, drive out inefficiency and free up officer time. We will look to strip out the red tape and bureaucracy that has bound our police officers behind desks instead of serving our communities from the front line. The Scottish Government trusts our police officers to do their job, exploiting the skills and experience that they have and using their own discretion, not being forced into paper chasing, pen pushing and reporting. We will enable them to get back to the job they signed up to do. At the heart of our approach is the determination to help more individual police officers become part of the fabric of the communities they serve. Building local knowledge and forging strong relationships with families and businesses in their local area.